Hey everyone, um, a couple of days ago I heard on the radio this particular news story that I'm going to talk about now and it really irked me and you'll find out why once I start talking about it. Um, I found an article um, that I'll link below that talks about it from the BBC News website, the website where uh, I probably get most of my news. I haven't heard anyone else talk about this particular story uh, on YouTube yet. Maybe because it's focused um, uh, in the UK and so I don't know how far the story has actually travelled when it, uh, how far it's travelled in regards to other countries. And it's to do with uh, the government in their infinite wisdom uh, banning certain uh, jobs from being advertised in, in the in job centres and that is the sex industry jobs. So for example vacancies about lap dancing and strippers. Now if you uh, have seen any of my videos before about this particular uh, subject you can probably guess, you know, uh, that I am pretty pissed off about it. And I'm just going to take a couple of choice quotes from the article and just just to show you how absurd the government's thinking is on this. Okay, so the first quote I'm going to say uh, it comes from the employment minister Chris Grayling, and he says that the ban will only affect jobs which could lead to exploitation. Well, in that case, you better close down every single job centre altogether. In fact, let's just close down the whole jobs industry because every single job is exploitative to some degree. Let's just take for example um, a lawyer. Now this, whatever company that this particular lawyer works for, um, they are being exploited based on their knowledge of the law and their skill um, in applying that law to uh, a court and you know their, their skill in you know either defending or prosecuting a case. So you know all you got to do is just get rid of all jobs and you know no exploitation job done honestly I'm just, I'm just pissed off about this um, the next uh, bit I want to talk about is that the government said this was to prevent job seekers feeling that they had to accept jobs they felt uncomfortable with now this is really fucking stupid uh, first off we don't live in an Orwellian society some people may think we're heading that way I don't think so but people are not forced to do certain jobs. However, how many people out there do you think do jobs just for the money? You know, they may not like what the job entails, but they keep at it because the money is excellent. Now, how many people do you think? Fucking loads! You know, and I'm not just talking about stripping here. I'm talking about, as I said, lawyers, uh, business people, chefs, you know, every single, um, you know, uh, jobs and people from every single industry, you know. Stop putting the emphasis purely on the sex industry. In any sector, as I said, you will find people that are uncomfortable with their jobs, but feel they have to pursue them, you know, for whatever reason. The sex industry is no different, so stop treating it like it is. You know, the government should keep away from people's feelings, you know. Someone looking for a job feeling a certain way is none of the government's business. If someone feels like they want to make some fast money, then, you know, the government taking away strippers' vacancies from job centres isn't really going to stop them. And then, but then you may say, you know, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that the sex industry is being held to a different standard to other jobs when it shouldn't be. Um, if someone accepted a job they felt uncomfortable with for whatever reason, then shouldn't they be allowed to? Unless, of course, um, you know, they're being forced to, you know, against their own will by someone else. And like, aren't we, aren't we free to make our own choices, even if other people think they are bad ones, and even if they do turn out to be bad decisions? I mean. You know, the, the, the famous quote, to err is human. You know, we are humans, we make mistakes. And I am of the teaching that we should be allowed to make mistakes. Um, you know, I don't believe in molly, molly coddling uh, people. And this is what the government seems to be, seems to be want to do in this case. Um, I'm not saying becoming a stripper or a, a, lap, a lap dancer is, uh, is a mistake by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. But we should be free to make decisions uh, in all aspects, in all areas of our lives. Um, that may or may not turn out to be a negative influence because it's how we learn not to make the same mistakes again and it's how we grow as a person you know and, and then hopefully that will um, be helpful to society as a whole as well um, do you really think that by banning ads about this stuff that somehow it won't enter anybody's mind as if you know somehow stripping and uh, lap dancing is just somehow going to be forgotten by every single person bullshit you know, it's a legitimate profession that has problems like every single other industry 
and their job in and their job vacancies should be allowed to be alongside other vacancies at every single fucking job centre. And this is just to me just fur furthering the stigma that stripping is something to be ashamed of. You know that it's sleazy and degrading, and that it's something that should be, you know, pushed aside, should be kept away from other jobs. And how are we going to get understanding? and acceptance from other people with regards to people who work in the sex industry if we're going to keep on um, you know stigmatizing people who take up jobs in those industries I just I just don't understand you know don't believe me I didn't vote for the, this government you know um, anyway that's all I want to say um, hope everyone's okay um, and cheerio